Deli Patterson, Brad Kinney, and Ferris Boyd. And each of them has troubles. Deli has gotten into so many fights she has no friends. Brad has a stutter, and Ferris Boyd doesn't speak, and you can't touch her. But each of them also has gifts, like Deli is great with adventures and fun. Brad is fantastic at basketball, and Ferris Boyd is amazing with animals. And through their gifts, they sort of save each other. I started writing True five years ago. It's been a long time coming, and I filled maybe four or five spiral notebooks with notes about this story. So I got away from it for a while. I took a break, and after that break, after being away from it for a while, when I came back to it, it was very clear what needed to happen, and it went very smoothly. When I tell stories, I think it tells people right away what I care about, and what I'm afraid of, and what I love. And I think stories invite the listener to think about what they care about, and what they're afraid of, and what they love too, and I think that's a good thing. So a deliism is a word that is made up by Deli Patterson to describe something situation or whatever that is like her unique take on the world. And one of my favorite deliisms is the word surpresent because it means a present that's a surprise and that's just a happy word. And another one of my um, favorite phrases from her is Jiminy Fipes, which is what you say when you're surprised or excited. And I think, you know, Jiminy Fipes just does the job. When you write a story, I think that it's important that you understand all your characters and that you're sympathetic to all of them, even the mean ones or the ones that seem hard. So there's part of me in all the characters in True. But I think that I identify most with Ferris Boy because there was a time that I thought it would be good to be silent and, uh, and Deli because sometimes I have a hard time channeling my anger in positive ways too. I'm still working on that. And there are times that I would be up for a good fight.